hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we're going to be talking about one of the fastest ways that you can use to edit your pictures using photoshop this tutorial is mainly to just smoothen the skin and to bring out the details as in the colors the contrast and the rest the first thing we have to do here is to press ctrl j on your keyboard or you just right click then you select duplicate layer so once you select the duplicate layer you can rename your layer to any name you like and once you are done just click ok so after we have duplicate the layer the next thing now we want to do is to click on our spot healing brush tool so once we click on this spot healing brush tool i'll just zoom in our image you are using the spot healing brush tool to just remove the pimples and the blemishes from the face so once i just clean this area i will go down to the neck area to look for any pimples and blemishes that i want to clean and once i'm done with this area let's just move to the next skin well we don't want to clean everything from her skin or from her body because we don't want the image to look very smooth so once you are done with this thing the next thing you have to do is to right click on this background copy layer or the layer that is above the background layer so once you right click on it we want to select duplicate layer so just look for duplicate layer and then you rename this layer to high frequency details and after i'm done renaming to high frequency details i'll just click ok the next thing i want to do again is to right click on this layer and duplicate layer again then you select low frequency color so once i've selected low frequency color i'm just going to click ok so you have to click on this low frequency color once you click on it just drag it down you can see what i did i left click on it then i hold then i drag it down i want to make sure this high frequency details is above this low frequency color so once i'm done i'm just going to turn off this high frequency details layer then i'll click on the low frequency color and i'll just go to filter once i select filter i'll select blur then i'll go to gaussian blur now for the gaussian blur radius we are going to rename it to five for the gaussian blur radius and once i'm done i'm just going to click ok now the next thing i want to do now is to turn on this high frequency details layer let's click on it once i let's click on it i'll just go to image then i'll click on apply image and once i click on apply image just watch the settings that i'm going to use for my image just look at the settings now for the opacity i'll leave it to 100 then for the layer i'll select low frequency color then for the channel rgb then for the blending mode we are going to look for substracts for the blending mode now look at your image section is going to change to gray so go to the scale leave it to two then for the offset leave it to one two eight once you are done just look at my settings then you click ok the next thing you have to do is to change the blending mode option so once i click on this high frequency details layer just left click on it then go to change blending mode then you look for linear light so once i click on linear light i'll just left click on this low frequency color layer then i'll right click i'm just going to look for convert to smart objects you can see it here once i select convert to smart object then the next thing i will do is to go to filter select blur select gaussian blur once you have selected gaussian blur if you increase the radius of your blur you see that your image is going to change you can select any number you like or you can leave the radius to be high or low now i want to explain something for people that get black results while editing their image using this method i want to say the reason you are getting that black result is because of your image is having very low quality or let's say you download an image from the internet or social media it's not an original raw file or it's not a portrait picture like this so what you have to do in that process or in the method of getting that black results is to just reduce this your gaussian blur reduce so once you reduce it i'm sure that the mistake or the result is going to be fixed so you have to look at your skin while you are reducing this radius you have to be looking at the skin i think 52 looks better so once i just select 52 i'll just click ok the next thing i'll just do is to click on this smart filter layer area as in the layer marks i'll just left click on it then i will hold ctrl i on my keyboard and it's just going to change as in 
the effects or the filter will just disappear from our image. So the next thing you can do in this situation is to select your lasso tool. So once you just select your lasso tool, just zoom in the head. Once you zoom in the head, just left click and hold. Once you left click hold, just drag it round. So we want to fix the forehead area. So I'll just drag it like this on the skin. Once I'm done, I'll just right click, then feather. So for the feather, I'll select 33 and hit enter on my keyboard. So once I'm done, I'll just press Ctrl I on my keyboard. Remember, you have to make sure that this is your smart filter layer is selected. Then you press Ctrl I. If you press Ctrl I, you will see that the forehead is just going to become smooth. Remember, you can also use your brush during this process. You can select your brush, make sure your flow is reduced. Then you can start applying this effect on the face. So I want to use my brush now for this other part of her face. So I'm just going to reduce the flow for the brush. Once I select the brush, I'll reduce the flow. Then I'll use the brush to paint that part a little bit. So once we are done, we don't want to paint it too much. The next thing I want to do now is to select my brush, reduce the flow also. And let's paint this area. Let's paint it to see how the skin will react to this, our frequency separation. So once I'm just painting this neck, you can see the results. The neck is being edited using this, our magic process. Let's just move to our chest and also apply the frequency separation on the chest. So once we just paint here, I will just also paint this part. And you can see the result of the picture. The picture is already looking amazing. And I will also paint or apply the frequency separation at this area. Now let's look at the before and the after for all what we have done. But before then, we have to reduce the Gaussian blur reduce. If you like, you can increase or reduce it. So I'm just going to reduce it to 41.5 and I'll just click on OK. Now let's look at the before and the after. You can see this process is very fast. This is the before and this is the after. You can see the result looks amazing and better. If you don't like it or if it is too much, you can also reduce the opacity. But I don't want to reduce the opacity of the layer. I'll just go back to the frequency separation by pressing Ctrl Z on my keyboard. So once I go back, I will also reduce the Gaussian blur again to, let's say, 37.4. So once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. And our image now look more better than before so once you are done with the skin smoothing process you can see that your image is already looking good it's looking soft the next thing we want to do now for this image is that we want to bring out the texture and bring out the skin details and the colors so to do this all you have to do is to go to filter just select filter then you click on camera raw filter and just allow it to load so once your camera raw filter has load we want to adjust the exposure, the contrast, the brightness, the highlight, the shadows, and many things. So for the exposure, we want to reduce the exposure because the white of the image is too much. So I'll just increase the contrast to be around, let's say, 14. Then for the highlights, I'll reduce the highlight because I don't want too much highlight on the image. The highlight is looking too much. Then for the whites, we can also reduce the whites if we like to minus eight for the black let's just reduce the black so there will be too much black in the image like by reducing the black you are adding more blacks to the image so i'm just going to leave it to minus four then for the colors let's zoom in the image and zoom out so for the colors i'll just reduce the temperature a bit for the tint i will increase it because i like that purple filter on her skin so for the vibrance we want to increase the vibrance to be around let's say 33 once i'm done with the vibrance i will just click on the details so once i click on the details i will increase the sharpening to be around 34 i will just close it back then i'm just going to head to effect so this effect is one of the most important parts for the effect the clarity i will increase the clarity to be around let's say 17 for the clarity i think the clarity is too much so i'll just leave the clarity to be around plus nine for the clarity then for the texture i will increase the texture 
to be around plus 12. I think plus 12 looks better. And for the D heels, let's just increase the D heels to be around, let's say, 5 for the D heels. And we are done with this camera raw filter settings. You can see that our image is now looking better and our image is now looking amazing. So once you are done with this camera raw settings, you can click on OK. Now my settings can be different from yours. So you can just play with your camera raw settings to get the perfect settings for your image. You don't have to follow the settings I'm using in my tutorial so you don't end up spoiling your image because images are different due to the lightning. For example, if it's a day image or if it's a picture shot at night, you cannot use the same settings for those images. So I'm just going to click on OK once I'm done. Uh, you can see that our image is just going to change and our image is just going to look better. This is the before and this is the after. If you don't like the results, you can add a little bit of editing at the skin or the face. So for the neck, I'll just come here to use my lasso tool and draw around there because I want to reduce the highlight from this part of her skin. So I'll just go to Fader, increase it to 44. Once I'm done, I will press Ctrl M on my keyboard and I'm just going to reduce the highlights or the whites from that particular part of her skin. Now let's look at the before and the after. You can see that our image is now looking more better than before. If you don't like the skin tone of this image, let's say you want to add your own skin tone, you can do it using Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack. So if you have not gotten Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack, make sure you click the link in the description of this video. And if you click the link in the description of this video, you visit my website shop area, then you can click on Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack and just get it. So let me just go to this actions area this is what i mean by dirty studio magic actions if you go to windows you will see actions so once i click on these actions i want to just select the even skin tone so i want to use this skin tone now to fix the skin tone of this image so once i've clicked on this even skin tone i'll just select around the skin you can see what i'm doing this part refuse to select so i'll just leave it to be only this part of our skin. So once I'm done selecting this area of our skin, I'm just going to press Ctrl I on my keyboard. And once I press Ctrl I, you will see that the skin tone is just going to change. Now you can select your brush. Once you select your brush, you can increase the flow and you can paint at this other place that we have not selected. You can see the results. And you can also make sure your foreground color is black. So once the foreground color is black, you'll be able to remove the filter or the effect from your picture. That is if there's layer marks here. So once you select your brush, let's just remove it from the mount. You can see what I'm doing. Once this area is showing black or you press X on your keyboard, it will show white or black. So once it is showing black, you can be able to remove the effect from the mount and you can be able to add it once it is showing white. So you just press X on your keyboard or you just click on these two arrows to change it. So I'm just going to remove this, our skin tone effect from the eye and remove it from the eyebrow. Once we are done, let's also increase the opacity. So if I increase the opacity, you can see the results. You can see that our image is looking amazing. Our image is looking perfect. Now let's look at the before and the after for all what we have done on this image this is the before this is the after this is the before and the after let's zoom in our image this is the before and the after you can see that we have been able to fix the skin tone we have been able to bring out the contrast the colors we have been able to adjust the image to make the image look better you can see the before looks very bright and the highlight is too much and the image is lacking that nice color but you can see the after it has added some nice skin tone to the image and it has made the image to look perfect and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out.